Gorgian uh, army, rebels, and uh, then uh, the French armed forces also sat into it. And now for us, we are putting it. So that's how now, and I remember it was a 2004. Oh. I'm sorry to say that it is not something that I planned mm -hmm. and it was something that uh, I foresaw coming. Mm -hmm. uh, so some of us may look like we are crazy, somebody may call us crazy. decided to take a break from, from I don't know whether I'll go back. Mm -hmm. It's only been a couple of months. Mm -hmm. I'm not very you sure. Don't miss it? Uh, yeah, once in a while, but what I miss most is what change can I bring to the younger generation? Mm -hmm. How do I motivate them? What do I do mm -hmm. uh, to make sure that just the same way I was motivated, the same way I was inspired, the same way that uh, by me going into flying, it demystified this huge, you know, it looks like a mystery. To me, yeah. it's just a, yeah. to me, it's just like anything that you can put your mind into. Just like a medical doctor. Yeah. How does a medical doctor go and open somebody's case and remove your heart, put it on the table, repair it and put it back? Mm -hmm. it, to a lot of people, is a mystery, yeah. isn't it? That's what I'm saying. Any small thing that we do to encourage the younger generation, mm -hmm. And also at the same time, to encourage others and show them everything is possible and every dream is valid. Mm -hmm. That is very, and that's what I want to do. And by you coming to interview me, it actually uh, gives me more motivation mm -hmm. to move on because a lot of people are going to watch this. Yes. Isn't it? Yes. A lot of young people are going to watch this. Mm -hmm. My former colleagues are also going to watch yes. this. I also encourage them, please don't go sit at home. Even if you are retired, do some, don't. Don't let that knowledge and experience mm -hmm. and that gift that you have go to waste. Okay. Let it be used. Let it be used to, to, the, to the generations uh, to come and live in our country and the, and the world at large. Okay, thank yeah. you so much. So it, it feel like that's very encouraging, yeah. especially for the younger generation, mm -hmm. because here you are a really accomplished professional mm -hmm. in your career yeah. and you still, you still have the desire to do even more for the community. So I'll take you back to KQ a bit, Captain. Yes. Your exit from KQ was not very really good. Yes. Can you take us through that time of uh, your life? I'm, I'm sorry to say that it is not something that I planned. Mm -hmm. And it was something that uh, I foresaw coming. Mm -hmm. uh, you know how our country is. And uh, some, some of us may look like we are crazy. Somebody may call us crazy. Mm -hmm. Somebody may be very... Uh, happy with us, the way our beliefs, because we all have our own beliefs, True. we all have our own principles, True. and for me, I like walking about what, think what you want to think, but this is me, I'm not you, mm -hmm. things to do with uh, doing things below the or under the table, uh, trying to achieve things by dubious ways. Mm -hmm. To me, that's why I probably be called a crazy person. Mm -hmm. Because I've raised hell. I, I don't I don't I, I normally don't plan it. Yeah. It just happened and I just raised my voice. Yeah. So whatever happened was uh, was I don't know how to put it so that I don't want to annoy other people or not even annoy them or raise I, I preach I, I, I need to get a proper word to just use it. I think it was a recruitment in Kenya that uh, I happened to come across some uh, other hard deals and I was, I, I, I felt I, I didn't have to be quiet, I needed to let my CEO know that I, I wanted quiet, but unfortunately he blew it, he blew it and it came out very very badly on me because it's like uh, I have opened a can of worms that they wanted to get closed. Okay. But without even going further, um, because that was handled, I don't know, but you know, some of these issues are very, very sensitive. Yeah. And for me as, an, as a person, mm -hmm. uh, I really care for my safety mm -hmm. and the safety of the people around me. Mm -hmm. So I would rather we don't discuss it so much, mm -hmm. but it didn't come out well on, on my side mm -hmm. because we ended up in court. Okay. And uh, I was still an employee. You can imagine being an employee and you're taking your, your employer mm -hmm. to court doesn't come out uh, yeah. very well. Mm -hmm. Yes, 
I lost quite a bit because what they're supposed to compensate me with, they refused. They gave me a, a, a very small fraction of what I was supposed to have been compensated for. And uh, at the same time, I made a lot of enemies in and out of Kenya House. And even up to this day, some of those uh, uh, issues follow me. But luckily, I've kept my sanity and I've kept my head up because I'm determined to move on. And I never did anything wrong. I know I did my country a favor. Those who actually felt uh, offended, that's their bag, it is not mine. Yeah. And uh, to be honest, I think it is something that some people never took it so, I mean, they took it well, mm -hmm. because they are after, you can imagine I worked for Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. Well, you did, yes, I'm a government when did you inspector. When KQ? KQ, I left in 2016. Okay. And uh, I've been, then they are after, I've been flying. Mm -hmm. I have flown for other companies, a couple of companies. Then in between, I worked for Kenya Civil Aviation Authority as a, um, Government safety inspector in, uh, in uh, flight operations. Then in 2019, I left again and went back to flight. Okay. Until now, last year. Okay. So you took a sabbatical? No, it's like a sabbatical. <laughs> okay. yeah. So now, yeah. during this sabbatical, what do you have to do? What, what I'm, now, like, what this is, this now? is now what I'm working I'm, 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 as, as we discussed earlier, I want to do, to engage myself. I'm still in a, I want to go to consultancy, okay. which I've started. Mm. And, and then at the same time, I also want to come up with the, just a program like yours about okay. the YouTube channel oh, or the oh. Captain Oweru show, oh, that which I, I want all of you people to support it should and go to subscribe. <laughs> we have already, we we have already one channel. episode yes. which are supposed we are going to release next week. Okay. And our first episode is about the pioneer pilots, mm -hmm. the, 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 those uh, our very brave young men then uh, who are trained in Israel by the Kenyan government. Uh, taken to Israel mm -hmm. in 1962, and one of them that we have already covered is called uh, Captain uh, uh, Mukirai. Mm -hmm. And we have we have already we are finishing the editing mm -hmm. and we we'll release it next week. Oh. And then thereafter, we have we want to, to interview the others, mm -hmm. but we want to engage ourselves across the aviation, uh, so to speak, field mm -hmm. from. Uh, pilots, engineers, companies, people who want to invest. Mm -hmm. So we want to make it interesting and uh, informative mm -hmm. because uh, what we are, to, we are calling it uh, infotainment, mm -hmm. but our theme is, is to educate, inspire, inform, and demystify mm -hmm. uh, aviation. So our programs will be, we will have programs, and at the same time, we also want to use it to sell others. People who are involved, like those who want to advertise with us, those who want to come and support us, mm -hmm. uh, manufacturers, financial institutions, mm -hmm. uh, educational institutions. So ours is just, just, just to be in flying, but our platform will be now aviation, yeah. right? Yeah. So we are encouraging anyone in an idea, anything, anyone who can come and support us and give us new ideas to promote. But the most important thing that you want to do here, you want to send a message to the young generation that your dreams are valid. Whatever you dream of, work towards it, and hard work pays. Mm. Plus, be ambitious, yeah. don't just sleep. Mm. And, and also at the same time, we also want to, sh to show the world that we are also part mm. of uh, the change that is happening in the world. Yeah. And you know, aviation, to be very honest, is the one that, is, that has done so much to connect the world. Now the world is, a, is, a, is, a, is like a small village. Mm -hmm. I'm here one minute, the next minute I'm in London. Mm -hmm. I'm doing business in Nairobi, I'm having dinner in London. Mm -hmm. Another, so, we have become one people, mm -hmm. isn't it? So aviation has come to, uh, to bring the whole world, mm -hmm. regardless of your race, regardless of gender, mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. That we are, we are one, that if you work as a team, the sky is the limit. And I don't think, you, maybe you go beyond the skies. Mm -hmm. so people are now planning to go to mass, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. So, and we also, Kenyan, we also want to encourage Kenyans to be participants. But one point that I want to drive across yeah. is to the government. Mm -hmm. The government should work very, very hard to encourage investments in aviation. Mm -hmm. Because you can imagine how much aviation opens our markets. Instead of uh, strangling it, mm -hmm. coming up with the bu bureaucratic tips, isn't it? Mm -hmm. People discouraging others. Uh, Kenyans lose their jobs because you're you are inviting foreigners to come and take over Kenyan, uh, Kenyan aviators' jobs. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think that is on. And I've been the one, I've tried to raise 
those issues. Because I've always met with a lot of resistance, but I'm not going to stop. Because I know at some point I was a victim. I've been a victim, and so many others who are quiet. I'm speaking for those who are quiet, cannot talk. Right? And this thing, and I'm sorry to say that I have to mention it, cannot be jailed for saying uh, for speaking the truth. Corruption is the one that is destroying our country. We better support the leadership. Whoever takes power or whoever comes to power, they have, there is that topic that everybody is running away from. That is what is troubling our, our, our advancement economically, our growth. Even our children cannot receive the best education because this monster that you're calling, let's call it what it is. It is not right and it is not good. And if you continue giving it or being silent just because you'll be seen as a bad person. Mm -hmm. Right? For me, I'm not a bad person. Okay. And I'm going to speak about it. What are some of the solutions do you think the government can take well, to first of the situation? It's, it's come up with the proper policies that encourage, give people assurance mm -hmm. of their future. Mm -hmm. If you look at the taxation system, in Kenya, the taxation, the policy in Kenya, it is strangling our economy. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is killing us. Mm -hmm. Nobody has ever come back to tell us the government is doing anything. You start a small business, mm -hmm. the next thing you find is a tax man next to your door. Whether you have made money or not, they are killing us. They are killing us. What I'm saying is, people, Kenyans are educated. Kenyans are exposed. Can we borrow from others? If you go to Singapore, the Singaporeans are, are getting uh, dividends from their taxes. Mm -hmm. We can also do it. Wow. Yeah, I'm sure you know that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. if Dubai, can come out of work because of time. I would have told you a lot of because I, have, I became very, very upset. When we went first, the first time I went to Dubai in 1995, we were all actually walking across sand, desert. A few years down the line, it is, um, I mean, you are amazed. Yeah. Roads, buildings, isn't it? Yeah. And, and living there, I mean, you work in Dubai, I mean, they have incentives. Imagine Dubai is duty free. Uhuru sometimes I've talked about who was a being a duty free. That would have been a gold mine. I wish somebody can revisit that. Instead of um, uh, West Africans going to the east, they should be coming east to Mombasa. Isn't it? All the ships from the, from the east, uh, Singapore, China, whatever, they should be coming to Mombasa, bring their goods. At least, and that would also save our African brothers and sisters a lot of uh, expenses. Instead of them going to Dubai, going to uh, the Far East, mm. they'll be coming to Mombasa and that is a plus for us. Isn't quite I would have seen that. That's true. Kenya is the hub of let me tell you, Kenya is the hub of aviation in Africa. Mm. You talk aviation, everybody knows Kenya. With Southern Sudan, they operate out of Nairobi. Everything is, is, is like, it's being managed from here, mm -hmm. isn't it? So, all over Congo, everywhere, mm -hmm. Nairobi is like the hub. Why can't we take that? Why can't we take that as a blessing and take advantage of it and grow it yeah. and see that we are leaders? And kill this you monster know? called corruption. So yes, now, corruption and also struggling, uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, demotivating Kenyans. Mm -hmm. We need now, Instead of us passing the back or blaming the government, mm -hmm. we should also be participants. And that's why I came up with the, 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 the Captain Awero show. Mm -hmm. It's not just about getting to an aircraft and flying. Yeah. It's all, also about investment. Mm -hmm. if, I, if you find somebody, like probably somebody has done well mm -hmm. in, uh, in, 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 in business, right? Like now we should be, an, instead, instead of us uh, struggling in we should go in there, our government, our people should go in there and find out what is not happening yeah. in here. This is, this is a strategic investment. It is employing so many people. Let's go and find out. Karanja, Tabitha, come, let's sit down. What is happening? We want to help. Okay. Yes. I hear you, I hear you. So now, mm. we've talked about a lot of serious. Yes. <laughs> let's now relax. <laughs> Tell us, mm. when you're not flying, mm. when you're not inspiring your community, mm. what are you doing? What do you like to do? What's your hobby? My, big, my hobby, number one, is reading. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that I have a lot of interest, interest in is religion. Because I want to know this monster that was brought to us by the <laughs> Zungu to confuse. I don't know, let Since me... Since you started wanting to be a priest. Yes, uh, at some point I realized that there is a lot more that we do not know. So I've taken a lot of interest in trying to find out more about this, the, 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 the genesis mm -hmm. of our beliefs, especially the different religions. 
Also, at the same time, I keep myself busy by reading novels. At least I have to read like two or three in a month or more. Okay. The, I also like uh, exercise. I walk a lot. Uh -huh. uh, most of the times, uh, you'll find me walking. Even if, I'm, if, if, I, if I go to town, mm -hmm. and uh, probably I'm within a place that I can take, I can walk, mm -hmm. I normally walk. Mm -hmm. And one of the other reasons that I also do that, you know, driving sources is quite expensive. Mm -hmm. But also at the same time, you also want to encourage investors. The Matatu people also want their, their oh, business. Yeah. You support, how do you support them? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, then also, uh, the other, I think I got so much that I do uh, is also trying to raise a rabble, a marabo rousa also. Mm -hmm. If I go to a place and find things are not working well, I always try to work with the people around me, mm -hmm. like to make things work, right? Yeah. So, uh, just to make, when I, like now, when, when I walk around and I find out that is so, is, is people are throwing uh, litter all over the place, mm -hmm. or is a road that's supposed to be done, I always tell people, don't build the government. Go and tell them this is what you want. But there's a way of communicating. But some people don't take it uh, positively. Mm -hmm. Even where I've lived, even in my village, sometimes people don't like uh, seeing me around mm -hmm. because I'll always point something out. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like you go to the village, the coffee industry is dead. Then I keep asking them. Now, instead of us buying uh, uh, maize from, from Uganda to, and even uh, cut or cut or cut or feed. Mm -hmm. Why can't we convert these factories into, into, into manufacturing, I mean, uh, cut or feed within? And we have so many people who are educated. So, those are some of the things, you know, you cannot be good to anyone. Sometimes I like I like raising dust once in a while, but in a positive way. Sometimes that's why you stay to attention. Yeah. Exactly, but that's why uh, some of us are not very popular. <laughs> yeah. But, but that, 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 that does not uh, at all affect me. Mm -hmm. I walk with my head up. Mm -hmm. And when I see something that is not right, I always point it out, but in a positive way. Okay. So uh, that is it. To me, I've, I've started calling it a hobby. Even when I, I live here, okay. if you go, if you talk to the man, to the ownership or the shareholders, mm -hmm. they have a story to tell, a story. but a good one. Okay. But the people who don't want to see people raising concerns, mm -hmm. then for me, I'm not a good person. Okay. Yeah. You're also a family man. Tell us yes. about your family. Yes, I'm a family man. Uh, blessed with the beautiful five kids, uh -huh. five children, they are all adults. Uh -huh. And uh, any um, of them single? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. some are single, and I'm also happy to say, let me because who is going to say this? I guess yeah, it, it is my pride. Don't to some have taken uh, after me. Uh -huh. uh, oh, they're all first born is a happy little kid. Oh, wow, congratulations! So this is the girl. Oh, it's like Maybe she hears me talk about this. We should tell her why are you why are you why are you, why are you we should my bring her here. We do no, I'll time. send you to her. You'll send us well, to one her. One of these days, yes. Okay. And she's my she has a family. And then the second one works for seven for eight. Mm -hmm. And then Another. yes, uh -huh. uh, that one uh, yes. And then there is also the others are they are all graduates. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'm a very proud dad. You are a blessed man. Yes, so all of them, in their own ways, they're working hard, uh -huh. and uh, they, they're also the pride of our family and the pride of the community mm -hmm. because they have worked well. When you go and find, uh, which is my joy, somebody doing so well at the university getting first class, that's what's like. Yeah. Like you know, yeah. to give as a parent, mm -hmm. I may not be the best of the parents. I may not be the best of of uh, of the people around or within the community. I'm a very, very proud part. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because all your kids have turned out. They have done well, and also, and as, 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 I also have a passion in, the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in education. Mm -hmm. So, my wife being a high school teacher, we served some, some years back, and we decided she leaves teaching, she goes and starts a school. So, she, she's in that business. Okay. And, uh, but I told her we do it in the village where we come from, so that we also bring up, we give back. Mm -hmm and have something to make us go back. You know, mm. sometimes you leave your village because you have nothing to, I mean, there's nothing to attract or, or bring you back. Yeah. Is it going to see your parents is actually not enough. Mm -hmm. Because when I see my, I look myself as a child of the community mm -hmm. because I've benefited a lot from the community. Mm -hmm. So that's why I have to go give back. I don't, I don't blame, I don't go making noise, there are no jobs. Yeah. 
I become part of creating it. Mm-hmm. And I'm, 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 I'm happy that I've also played a, a part in it. Okay. And I want to continue doing it. Wow, that's yes. very exciting. When we look at your journey, yes. since you are very young, uh, yes. a very young boy in the village, you mm-hmm. dreams of becoming this pilot yes. and the community supporting you, you actually actualizing that yes. dream. Yes. Then becoming a father and yes. your kids, all your children turn out yes. right. So, Thanks to their mom also. <laughs> Thanks also to their mom. A lot, yes. What qualities, what do you think, what kind of qualities do you think have helped you to, to make all these things happen? Or to achieve all this? Yes, being positive mm-hmm. and also at the same time, don't look at the world as if it is uh, with, with, uh, with a lack of complexity. Mm-hmm. Make everything simple because mm-hmm. something has been done by someone. Look at Isaac Newton. Laws of motion. Whoever thought it's a, it's a, it's a, it to us it looks like something so huge, something that we cannot understand, we cannot fathom. But it's done by someone. Before people used to think it's only the the Zulu that can fly, and all. here we are flying. So everything is possible. Uh, we used to have people go for medical treatment outside. Now we have our own doctors who are doing even wonderful jobs: uh, kidney transplant, heart surgeries, uh, brain surgery. So what is so big? So to me, mm-hmm. I try to look with everything with an eye of possibility. Okay. Right? If I cannot go this way, I can go. It might be long, mm-hmm. but the end justifies the means. Make it happen. But uh, make it. I always make. To be honest with you, I may not be the richest. I may not be the brightest. I may not be all those people yeah. people talk about. Uh-huh. But I make things happen. Okay. Yeah. And I try. I will not stop. When I don't succeed in something. I would rather walk through the night and go to a person to get consult somebody who can help you do it. So you're telling them there's no limit. No, there's no. You can achieve anything. You that's want. why I. Uh, that's why I keep saying, I want to, to be. If I can, if I can get to the age of 102, mm. I'll be a very happy person because there's a lot for us to do mm. and accomplish. The world needs us because we're still alive, mm. isn't it? We are not dead. Right. But as long as we are alive, mm-hmm. and as long as we are in this world, we are the, we are the change that the world requires okay. to make the world better for our world. Because if you look at the people be, uh, who came here ahead of us, were it not for them, we not be where we are. So what about, will I be counted mm-hmm. as somebody who brought a change? Mm-hmm. Look at history. We are, talk, we, are look, we are talking of pyramids. Mm-hmm. We are we, uh, each in Egypt. Mm-hmm. We are talking about in Mohawake Bureau. Mm-hmm. We also want people to sing about us later on mm-hmm. in the future because the future future begins with you. Mm-hmm. Right, right? And then I pass it over. And history will judge you. Uh, yeah, you exactly. Yeah. Yeah. But for me, I'm not looking for fame. Yeah. I just want to be an ordinary, regular guy who would want to, to see the world changing for the better. Mm-hmm. If today I cannot drive, I want to see all my kids drive. Mm-hmm. And not only driving, they can make those vehicles, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Today we are in the world. Mm-hmm. If I became a president today, I'll ban all that so that people can use their heads. Right? We are not second class world citizens. It's going to be controversial because of that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, people talk. That's what I'm saying. People may not like, uh, maybe the, 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 this may might appear, but we talk, we say. Like it. <laughs> you just say it as it is. Yes, I say everything as it, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Yeah. It's the truth. Yeah. I want to, I want to be wearing a new shirt, not a shirt that has been, that has been worn by somebody else. Right like now we are driving Mutumba vehicles. Why can't we start our own factories here That's to drive true. new cars? Look at cameras. We want to, to manufacture cameras. Yeah. Yeah. We want people like the way now you came to my house. I'm not being interviewed by a Mzungu. I'm so proud. <laughs> and to be interviewed by our children, you know, yeah, it's true. very encouraging, very motivating. And that's what I support. And I wish I could even go further. Mm-hmm. If there's anything I can do to even make your life or whatever you're doing, because without media, so to speak, would be darkness. That's true. Yeah. So now, to wrap it all up, mm-hmm. well, you have told us a lot. Mm-hmm. You have been inspired. I feel like I was in a TEDx show. <laughs> Just like to wrap it up, mm-hmm. talk to the youth out there. Tell them, tell them, tell them that it is possible. Tell them what, tell them the secret to success. Talk to that youth who's looking at you and say, "Hey, this guy is from the village. Yes. Yeah, pilot, th- three pilot kids." Talk to that youth out there. My fellow Kenyans and uh, and uh, all the world citizens, your dreams are valid. 
change begins with us at individual level. When you enjoy something being done by someone else, you should look at yourself, what change have I brought? Or what have I brought? Anything new or something or what, what problem have I solved? Because life is all about problem solving. So my dear friends, all of us have a duty, all of us are intelligent, all of us are intelligent, uh, knowledgeable, let us use that knowledge to make the world a better place. It's not about war, it's about, it's a war is a battle against poverty, against ignorance. Let us work hard, let us change the world and change begins with us. Thank you. Thank you so much.